I don't want to lose one dollar. And you know, part of, of of what makes people is their background. And you know, I I, I came from a, a background where, you know, to to get spending money or do anything, I had to, you know, like have jobs. I cut lawns. I shoveled snow and. Then I recruited my brothers to do it, and you know I kept half of the profits that lasted a few years before they realized they could do it all. Uh, and and I always did things. I sold light bulbs door to door. Uh, I sold stationery door to door uh, in college so I could get a KLA stereo. I did all kinds of things, and and when you do stuff like that, you, you really never want to lose your money because then you just have to keep doing more. And, 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 and that's, that's, that's a huge effort to knock on somebody's door you don't know, you don't know what's gonna happen. You only do it because you really wanna be successful. So I'm not a believer in going backwards. It's, it's not something I endorse. I only like to go forwards. And, and so I, I worry about you know, sort of making a mistake, any, any type of mistake. And, and part of the culture at our firm uh, it's a little different than most is, is, you know, the first rule is don't lose money. I know this sounds primitive. You don't have to go to Harvard Business School for this. But if you, if you have a philosophy of trying never to lose rather than how much you make, um, you, you, you always end up making a bunch on interesting things. But if you don't have a downside and you only have an upside and you, you, you're in a growing economy, um, which is where we operate, uh, and you do it on leverage, you'll make very, very high uh, returns, and, and we have. And, and so it's a pretty simple uh, model. We had one where we lost a billion dollars. Um, uh, you know, we, um, uh, we bought, uh, a significant percentage of a telephone company in a European uh, country, and uh, we were partners with the government who had the largest share. We, we, we had the second. We had a whole transformation project uh, to uh, have that company do much better. It used to be owned by the government, and um, we agreed on it completely, and we would have made a, a very good return and, and, and then there was an election and the government basically said, I'm sorry, I, I, I know I told you I wanted to do all these things with you, but I'm not doing it. And, you know, the, the, this is a big country with famous people. And you go over and you sat down with them and you said, but you told me. And they said, well, things changed. So we lost almost all of our money on that. Learned a lot. One, when a government tells you something, it doesn't mean they're gonna do it. At that moment that they tell you they wanna do it, but future circumstances can sometimes lead them to change their mind. Sometimes in places in the world, changes of government lead to a new person showing up and say, I don't know why anybody ever agreed with you with that. I'm just canceling that. And, and so um, the, 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 the lack of predictability in dealing with governments is, is surprisingly high. Uh, secondly, uh, having partners on things um, can also be a danger uh, because sometimes they can block something that's, that you think is good to do that they've already agreed on, but if they have a change uh, and you don't have enough um, influence, uh, you, you can end up in a very bad place. So every time you lose, you learn. And um, it, it's unfortunate that those are the best lessons. Um, they're, they're usually expensive.